Okay, gloss coat time, or I guess for some of you, if you're fixing up mistakes and stuff, burn frues or sand frues like this. Um, so I've mixed up uh, for this board, seven foot board. Uh, this is 175 uh, grams of epoxy to, no, sorry, 150 grams of epoxy, 75 grams of hardener. Um, make you, I'm mixing it, remember don't impart air into it, don't whip it like crazy, like you're making whipped cream. Um, but make sure you scrape the sides, freely mixed. I've taped the board all the way around, just like doing the hot coat. If you want to see how to do that, check out the video for hot coating. Um, I'm now going to gloss coat. I've taken this brush, mashed it up against some, some uh, masking tape to pull it out. Now, very important, pour pour out all the epoxy. It's starting to warm up my hand already. It's a nice uh, 15 degrees out today in my area. Um, also, I didn't mention, super important, what I did with this board was uh, I washed it. There's a couple trains of thought. Don't wash it. Some people say wash it. I don't know. There's there's mix, mixed uh, feelings on that. I washed it with some um, non-scented perfume, no perfume dish detergent. Um, so there's no, uh, I don't know, no extra impurities, I guess, in it. And um, with just water, just to get the dust off, because it's really dusty. Some people just blow it off with a gun. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend using a tack cloth, but uh, you can vacuum it. So there's a few different ways to do it. So make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure your room is clean and um, after sanding um, and yeah let's uh, let's gloss coat this also something else I've learned do not do not skimp on using the epoxy because you can get fish eyes um, that's happened to me before I tried thinning out the epoxy bad idea never fin it don't ever fin your epoxy um, just use a little extra so you don't get uh, fish eyes because there's not enough surface tension to hold the epoxy in a nice even layer. What happens though if you don't put it on thick enough, um, you get little pinholes or fish eyes is what they call it. Um, and that can be a real nightmare to fix because um, then you have to mix up more epoxy and do all that. So I'm going to gloss coat this and, uh, and then we're going to give it a final sand and this board will be done. It also might look like I don't have enough because it's not spreading it out. Just like some I've mentioned in previously in some other videos, people, the pros, some of the pro videos that you've probably watched, um, they just go at it with a bucket of resin and just go crazy at it. I'm trying not to have too much waste. Since this is a clear coat anyway, clear epoxy, if I run a little short, I have a few minutes that I can go mix up a little bit more and just to fill in the spots that I miss. 
Um, so that's why it takes me a little bit longer because I'm kind of spreading it out and I don't get too many drips. Um, so for those of you maybe who are wondering why I don't use more, well, you can use more. It's just epoxy is quite expensive and I can get away with really good results doing it uh, just kind of not using too much and having too much waste on the floor because as you can see I don't I haven't even bothered to put a drop cloth on the floor One other little tidbit, I didn't put a pinstripe right here to hide my lap yet. Um, you can do it before the uh, gloss coat or the additional coat. Um, I just got lazy because I was too lazy to tape it off. I'm just going to do it afterwards and spray some, mask it off and then uh, and then put the pin pinstripe on it. You can do it before or you can do it after the, uh, the gloss or second coat. It's up to you. I, uh, I sometimes do it before, sometimes I do it after. It just happens that this time I decided I didn't, didn't bother. This is looking great. No uh, fish eyes on this. I'm quite pleased with that. So now we're going to go up and down length of the board, smooth it all out so that way we get nice even spread coverage all across the board.
Okay, done. Looks beautiful. I'm quite pleased with this. No fish eyes. Uh, it's nice and level, not too much dust. That'll sand out anyway. Just give it a good once over, look it over, make sure you didn't miss any spots. Um, once you're done, leave it alone. Don't fuck with it. Don't mess around with it. Um, all right, next we'll do the bottom. We'll do a tape dam again, do the bottom, then we'll sand. Okay, it's time to do the bottom now. Same as I mentioned before is the hot coat. Um, so I got my epoxy mixed up here. Um, what I'm doing is I've dammed it off again to get a nice sharp edge for when I sand. Um, because I've sanded and I did a good job at it, it this shouldn't be too bad. The, the deck came out really well um, for the gloss coat. So I've re-taped it all, all the way around, just like the hot coat. So I'm not going to bother to show that. I just taped it and uh, now I'm just going to do the the top, the bottom I mean, the bottom. I'm going to mix this up really good and then we'll just dump it on and same as before, spread it all out. No different than the uh, hot coat and the, uh, the gloss coat that I just did on the deck. Same thing. Um, I guess just one other thing to mention is this tape line here as I mentioned before you want this nice and close to where you pulled off the tape so I've already pulled off the tape obviously and flipped the board and re taped it you want this tape line nice and close to where the epoxy met um, where the tape line from the from the from the deck gloss coat um, so you just want it nice and close so that way when you sand you only got a little tiny bit to sand off right here I think that makes sense what I just said if not I think you get the idea just by uh, watching the video. So, mix this up. Again, not like whipping, uh, making whipping cream. Scrape the sides. Dump it out. And uh, we'll coat this. They got this camera angle right. Can't really never really tell.
All right, we're done. We're not going to mess with it anymore, and uh, we'll let it set. Okay, the board has been gloss coated. Um, the epoxy has set. I peeled all the tape off. Um, as you can see here, I got a nice peeled off the tape dam here, and I got a nice edge here where I'm going to just kind of feather in and make a nice sharp edge here at the rear of the board. Uh, got this tape line here that I'll need to sand, but it's just small. I'm going to hand sand all that. I'm not going to use power sanding on this anymore. Or if I do, I'm probably going to hit it with the palm sander. Or you could use a really light grit sandpaper if you're using like a polisher over there. This here, the, if you're doing future fin boxes, we're going to open these up now. Peel the tape off for this fin box where I had a little bit of a mistake and I had to tape it. Um, I'm going to use a small pad to open this up. Same with the leash plug on the other side. I'm going to tape all the way around. Uh, I'm really happy. It came out great. No fish eyes. Looks awesome. So I'm going to open up the GoPro, GoPro um, FCS plug up here. Everything looks really good. Quite pleased with it. Um, open up this leash plug and that'll be it. So I'm going to suit up with a garbage bag and um, start sanding. Sand everything open. This here I'm going to hit either with a palm sander or I'll hand sand it, like the whole board, because it's it's already nice and smooth. Um, the thing is, I'm probably going to use like a 320, maybe 220, smooth it all out again. It's going to get dull. That's okay. Then we're going to work our way up through, um, if you're doing a gloss coat, progressively finer grits of sandpaper. So you're going to go 320, 400. If you're doing a matte finish, 400 is probably good. Your short boards typically are like a 400 grit. Um, then you're going to go 600, 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, up like that. Just like polishing a car, if you've ever done automotive clear coat polishing. Um, and then we're going to use automotive clear coat polish to polish the epoxy once you get up to like the 2,000 grit. And then the board will just pop. It'll just get a nice, nice shine to it. But it takes a lot of work. So I don't know if I'm going to take it up quite that high, but... Uh, you can do that. And also, I forgot to mention, as you're going up through the progressively finer grits of sandpaper, you're probably going to wet sand. We're going to wet sand probably with uh, anything above 320, maybe 400. So I'll probably do that outside. I don't know if I'm going to show all that. Basically, I'm going to do it all by hand, um, probably with a little pad like this, because there's not much to it. Like, it's already smooth. We're not, we're not taking down big pieces of epoxy. So um, it's as simple as that. And then we'll show the final final finish board, uh, do a little tape line, then uh, we'll take this, this out for surfing.